What it means is we're down to our final quantities in that particular item. We know we can't get a reorder, so we're looking to clear our inventory to make room for new items that are coming in. You happen to be at the right place at the right time when you see a clearance price because once it's gone, we won't be having it back. So this is your opportunity to get a great, great top shelf item at that super low price. And tonight we're even making it even more irresistible by putting it on easy pay. And how do you feel about three easy payments of 1332 for a five quart lightweight cast iron Dutch oven that comes along with a glass lid and a wire rack? Everything you could possibly need. We're gonna come, oh two. You're saying two racks, oh that's right, two racks. I'm sorry Meredith. So let's come right over here and welcome back Meredith. Hello. And we're going to talk to you about lightweight cast iron. First, tell us about that. Almost caught it. We've got racked it. down. Well, lightweight cast iron, David, has all the properties of regular cast iron. It just happens to be about 40% lighter than the same pot would be in regular cast iron. So that's great because cast iron is notoriously heavy and hard to manage in the kitchen. Now it's no problem. It's easier to carry across, but it's still a, a good, a well-weighted pan. Don't get me wrong. You're not going to be juggling with these or anything anytime. It's about 40, 40% lighter, isn't it? 40% lighter of the, of the same pan, right? And then you're getting two racks. Now one of these racks fits right down in the bottom of the pan. That's perfect when you have a whole lot of food that you want to steam, mm. or you just want to cook something without having it right on the bottom. Then it comes with another rack that fits on the top rim of this pot, which is fantastic because it allows you to cook something underneath while cooking something else on top. Great. Now the lid for this pan actually is glass. It fits on there like this. You can see through it. It's nice, but it also doubles as a pie dish. So you can do your quiches, your pies. You can do lots of things in here. Cornbread. You can have, it's, 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 to me, this is the most versatile Pan, probably in the Cook's Essentials lineup. Well, it's also important to know, too, that we've got three easy payments on your credit card on this of $13.32, and we also have colors right. for you. So we have them on the stove, actually. Mm -hmm. So what we were just showing you copper, right. which is available. We also have this for you in our red, which mm -hmm. is here. So we'll try to get these, shoot these up profile a little bit. Here's your red. Beside the red, we have it for you in eggplant. Oh, if you want the eggplant, which is right here, I have fewer than 200 left in the eggplant. I have it in black, which is on the end of the, uh, of the line there. And the black is very, very classic. And you know what, David, these are also available or able to go onto the barbecue. So if you were wanting to put this on the barbecue, I think black is a really good choice because you know things that go on the barbecue tend to get a little bit sure. dirtier. So. And here's your copper. That's gorgeous, your final color. So gorgeous. we have all four colors available tonight, but it is clearance pricing. So when these are gone, they will be gone for good. Please don't miss this opportunity because they are very, very special. What have you here? Well, my David, dear? you know, so I just love being able to do like the multiple things here. So here is sort of doing, uh, you know, those lovely pot stickers mm. that we all love my here favorite. at Casey. You, I have pot stickers steaming above uh, some miso soup down below. Oh, how lovely. So you can put the pot stickers right into the pot without them falling apart too much. And then you go ahead and put your chicken miso soup right on top. How lovely Isn't is that? That perfect. That is perfect. <laughs> I think it's great. And of course, because, you know, if it was you, you'd go and take another one. But, yeah. Put it right on top. There you go. <laughs> so Did we just meet? <laughs> um, this is going to be really, really so versatile and so lovely. And remember, that lid that we're showing you mm -hmm. also doubles as a pie plate. Exactly. It can be, um, it can be a, a baking pan of sorts. You could do a, a, a pie in there. You mm -hmm. could do just about anything in there because this is also oven safe, isn't it? Completely oven safe, absolutely. David, look here. One of the things I like about that lid is the fact that it's, you, know, you can see through it. You can say, hey, look, my broccoli's finished. It's all done now. We steamed broccoli on top of a pot roast that you cook and you can cook this in the oven, obviously. Then you want some green vegetables to go with it. Cast iron is so great for things oh, like this. Slow braises. Hot roast. Yes, I know. It's near and dear to your heart. It is something I love. <laughs> I do not want to live in a world without pot roast. But look at, you know, and that's the thing. Cast iron distributes the heat evenly, holds the heat for long periods of time, gives you those great tender results. And, and David, we were talking just the other day about all the different cookware that we have at home because we're so lucky. We're and very blessed to have lots of samples to work we with. We are. At home, and, yeah. and one of the things that we said is, you know, I actually spent some time thinking about what 
cookware I use when. Yeah. And cast iron is what I really bring out when I'm making, you know, the big comfort foods, when I'm making foods for special occasions. You You're know. making the delicious miso soup that we should have the next time I'm over. Okay. Um, <laughs> because that, that looks fantastic. Um, this is what's so amazing. Three easy payments on your credit card, clearance pricing, hello pot roast, hello pot stickers, mm -hmm. steamed vegetables. You can do double decker cooking in exactly. here too, can't you? And that's one of the things I love about this because here what we've done is we've done an entire meal by steaming vegetables on top and steaming the fish below. So we've got the entire meal here and you know what that means? It means one pot to clean up and now, not two, right? Meredith, if you could, once you plate that, grab our copper over sure. there because I'm going to do a little color tour real quickly beginning with red. Here's your red. If you want eggplant, I have fewer than 100 left, is that right? In the eggplant, fewer than 100 left in the eggplant. Here's your black, beside it, here on the end. Can't touch that because it's hot as lava. And then finally, we have it for you in the copper. Now remember, that beautiful non-stick is on the inside. I was just gonna say and that. And on the outside. Exactly. Here, you know, in the black one here, obviously you're gonna get the black non-stick on the inside. But what we've done here is we had the key, a quiche cooking not on the stove, obviously, in the oven, but we had quiche cooking here in the, in the lid slash pie dish. And then down below, we've got tomato soup. So it's great for lunches too. When you wanna do lunches, you can go ahead and have soup down below, have a quiche or something on top, and you're standing right in front of the pot. I know you're eyeing it. I got my um, eye on you, mister. Um, um, <laughs> uh, there's homemade pie over here. And yeah. I'm wondering, is this cherry pie, strawberry pie, or strawberry rhubarb? You might have to dig in to find out. Oh, wow. Well, Here, okay. you have my permission. Do you know what? <laughs> Just saw in the market this week, fresh rhubarb is Lovely. coming into season. It's a spring, it's a spring treat. Strawberry rhubarb, the very best. I'm not sure what, what flavor this is, so we're gonna dig right in. Ooh, is this, is this strawberry apple? Is that what that is, Chef? Is looks it like it, looks like it is to it me. Is it strawberry apple? Oh, it's strawberry apple. Do we have a plate? <laughs> um, I will get a plate for oh, you. Thank you, my darling. Who's ready for strawberry apple pie? Liz, you want some strawberry apple pie? Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm totally going to groove on some strawberry rhubarb cobbler this week. I'm going to bust out a cobbler this I week. Understand. I totally am. All right. Hey, uh, be on the line for this. We're very, very busy. Mm. I enjoy cake, but I'll back up for pie. Will you? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, All right. You. Um, you know what I have for you? Yes. Trivia. 